Hello, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat, no? Si Sir Gian nga po pala ito, no? Mag-usap tayo, pag-usapan natin ng ating Let Majorship Question of the Day. Ang Let Majorship Question of the Day natin po ay manggagaling ito saan? Sa Assessment and Evaluation in Mathematics. Technically, ito ay dinidiscuss sa mga huling part ng inyong majorship, no? Kumbaga siya yung pinakahuli. Kumbaga, pag nilista natin isa-isa yung mga major subject natin sa math, siya yung isa sa pinaka... Or sa, technically, siya yung huli. No? Yan, siya yung isa sa mga pinakahuling itatake na major. So, sabi dito sa question, it is the learning outcome of, uh, of taking BS Ed Mathematics. So, again, ang pinag-uusapan, learning outcome ng BS Ed Mathematics, it means class, ano ba yung tawag dun sa learning outcome? Siyempre, pag sinabi naman natin na learning outcome class, technically, they are on, uh, Pag sinabi natin learning outcome class, ito ay objectives sa madaling salita, no? So, yung mga ano lang siya, no? Kaya learning outcome nga, kaya nga may tinatawag tayo ng mga ILO, CLO, PLO, and so on. So, sabi dito, ano ba yung learning outcome sa pagkuha ng BS and Math? A, is it a program learning outcomes? B, is it a course learning outcomes? C, intended learning outcomes? Or D, yung performance standard? So, pag-usapan muna natin isa-isa bago natin sabihin yung Ah, uh, tamang sagot. So pag-usapan muna natin yung PLO or the program learning outcomes. The PLOs are the statement that specify what students will know or be able to do as a result of an activity and are expressed as knowledge, skills, attitude or values. Measurable expectation or anticipated outcomes. A comprehensive and well-developed list can provide information about student learning curriculum and teaching. Assessing or measuring learning outcomes can inform the institution about the education environment. So kung mapapansin nyo sa PLO's class, kasama na dito, may involvement ang institution, kahit naman sa course at saka sa ILO, di ba? Pero ang best example niyan, kapag kumukuha ka daw, or if you are taking BS and Mathematics as bachelor's degree, the learning outcome that uh, that uh, you, you know, the learning outcome that you need, so sorry po dun sa type that you need, is the program learning outcome. So, obviously, alam naman na po natin yung sagot, no? This is the PLO. So, since BS Ed Mathematics is a program in college, okay? No? Then, pag-usapan din natin yung isa, yung course learning outcomes. It is the central to your courses curriculum. They articulate, no? To students, faculty, and other stakeholders what students will achieve in each course and how they learning to be measured. The learning outcomes in the subject of linear algebra. Learning outcomes in the subject. So when we say course class, et yung subject na pinag-aaralan under of that program. No, ito especially ang linear algebra. Isa siyang program. Ah, sorry, technically, isa siyang course learning outcome under of BS and Math. Linear, RG, uh, linear algebra is a course taken as a major subject of BS and Math. So kung mapapansin nyo sa CLO dito sa example, no, determine and use appropriate techniques. Pag sinabing CLO class, ito yung learning outcomes. Uh, pag sinabing CLO or the course learning outcomes, ito yung learning outcomes nung particular na subject or particular na course. Yung uh, example, sa buong SEM na yun, halimbawa, ang subject is linear algebra. So ano yung... Pwede, ano ba yung learning outcome na matututunan ng isang pre-service teacher dun sa subject na yon So, ibig sabihin, pang buong linear algebra yung objectives na yon Samantalang sa PLO class, no, demonstrate mastery of subject matter or discipline. Kung mapapansin nyo dun sa program outcomes or sa program learning outcomes, lahat yan makikita mo sa lahat ng subject ng majorship. Pare-parehas lang ng program outcomes. Kasi pag sinabing program outcomes class or PLO, Ito yung learning outcome sa pag-take mo ng BS Ed Math. Ano yung matututunan mo after 4 years that you take BS Ed Math? Okay? And the last is, ah, sorry, yung third natin is yung ILO or the uh, Intended Learning Outcomes. Student-centered and describe your intention for, the stu for your students learning at the level of the module. They specify what students should know and be able to do by the end of the module. Okay? As a rule of thumb, it is unlikely... Uh, that there will be more than 8 to 10 ILOs per module. Intended learning outcomes in linear equation and matrices. So, when we say ILO class, per module siya, per topic, no? Kung baga sa lesson plan class, in the lesson plan, ano yung topic mo on that particular na sa, on that particular na module, okay? Or pag sinabing ILO class sa lesson plan, siya yung objectives. Kung baga, 
technically, yung RLO, siya yung uh, ano yung learning outcome niya na matututunan niya dun sa particular na subject or dun technically sa topic. No? Sa topic nung mismong subject na yun. Intended learning outcomes is simply the objectives in a particular topic. No? Para mas... Uh, and then yung isa, ang performance standard is specify the level of performance in a skill or area of knowledge that is considered acceptable. These performance are aligned with what curriculum and content standard in each subject area. Performance standards, ano ba yung standards na dapat gawin or ano yung skills na nire-require on that particular na subject or on a particular lesson. Now, in the summary class, program learning outcomes class, ibig sabihin program. It means your learning outcomes ng particular na program. It means ano yung learning outcomes pag natapos mo ang BS EDMAP or yung particular na program na yun. Course learning outcome, ano ang learning outcome ng subject na yun? No? Example, uh, let's say linear algebra. Sa buong sem ng linear algebra, ano yung learning outcome? Pag tinanong, anong tawag doon? Course siya. Kasi linear algebra ang tinitake mong subject. ILO, linear equation and determinants, yan, example yan ng isang module ng linear algebra. Nag-gets. Pag program, buong BS, buong program doon. Buong program sa college. No, kaya nga technically, no, hindi dapat talaga course, uh, for me, ha, hindi dapat talaga course yung tinatanong. Eh. What is your program? No? Kasi ang program yan yung BS EdMath, BS Ed English, BEM, and so on. Ang linear algebra, course siya. Yan yung tinatay. Kaya may tinatawag tayong course title and also we have course description. Kasi yung course na yun, yun yung subject na tinatake mo doon sa program na BS EdMath. Ang ILO, yun yung topic under on that course. Okay? So, sana nag-gets po siya. So, in that, so the correct answer is the program learning outcomes. Kasi BS Ed Mathematics ang tinatanong. Okay? So, I hope no, natutunan ninyo or may nag-gets kayo sa ating discussion for today. Have a nice day and goodbye class.